Life can get busy sometimes. Life comes with challenges. And those challenges are what makes life great. Titan Medical Center can help you along the way to optimize your overall performance while feeling and looking your best. Call or text us today at 727-389-3220. Hi everyone, I'm Chenille. I'm one of the nurse practitioners here at Titan Medical Center. And I'm Cass, one of the nurse practitioners at Titan Medical Center as well. Today we're gonna to talk to you about one of our newer weight loss therapies called Prometheus. This is a capsule that you can take to help with losing weight, curbing your appetite, and helping with energy levels. Yep, and it's a good oral option for those of you who do not like doing the injections or just want an alternative route of administration. And this capsule can be taken once daily. It has metformin in it. Metformin can help control your appetite. It can help your body process sugar more effectively. And it also is gonna have in there Wellbutrin, which has been shown to help with appetite cravings. And don't forget B12, B12 essential for increasing your metabolism and helping giving you natural energy. So if you're interested in the Prometheus capsule, give us a call 727-389-3220. So how did I feel before Titan? Um, I had a lot of ups and downs. Um, I had a lot of times I felt good, but there were some times where I wasn't feeling as good. And then with Titan, when I started doing that, not at first, but it started gradually happening, I started feeling better consistently. And that was probably the biggest um, aha moment for me, knowing that Titan was really the one for me. Um, just being consistent on an even keel and knowing that you know I'm getting this it's real, it feels good, and I feel good. I decided to become a patient because of other people and their testimonials. And after a while, when I kept seeing it, I was like, hmm, this sounds like something I wanna be a part of. And I was very apprehensive at first because you know, a lot of people say things and then there was people that I knew that were really getting fantastic results um, of all ages. So that was the reason why I really wanted to, to make that decision. And ever, ever since I made that decision, it's helped me out immensely. I've felt great and it's very consistent and that's the biggest thing for me, um, consistency. When I got my blood work back, my blood work was not where I thought it would be. My blood work was all over the place. My testosterone was, was not uh, where I thought it was. Um, my estrogen and a lot of levels were, were really off. And then after a while, doing it and not right away, after a couple months, it started leveling out and the consistency has been amazing. Um, my service at Titan Medical Center has been phenomenal. I get a text message every month ask me, how is things going with our regiment? They're very on point. I can always count on them. And knowing that makes me feel like really good and it makes me wanna you know, continue uh, working with Titan Medical Center. So I use a hormone replacement therapy. I know that it's real. I know that I can count on it and it makes me feel really good um, one of my favorite products is the ab cream. Um, it's something that's helped me a lot. I like to use it um, before I go in the sauna. I rub it on my stomach and then I put my waist trainer on and as soon as I get out, I take it off and it's drenched. It's amazing. Um, the Hercules Potion is something that is amazing too. You get a great pump. Nectar of the Gods, Titan Complete, all of these therapies have been phenomenal. All the amino acids make me feel fantastic. I'm always up alive and my cognitive and functions are on point. I had back surgery and I'm, I'm very healthy and it kind of caught me off guard and I was, I was really depressed. And you know, I was talking to uh, John, the CEO, about what I can do, um, you know, as, as we all have insecurities and there was a big scar on my back, you know, and I spoke to him and he said that BPC um, 157 is something that can help with that and it's helped me out tremendously and I actually took photos throughout that and I have tons of photos going through periodically through the months and it's helped me out tremendously so I couldn't thank him enough for that. I feel better than good and better than most. I couldn't be happier with the service. I couldn't be happier with you know how I feel and again the consistency is what is key. When you're going up and down, up and down, that's not good for your mind. And a lot of people are going through mental health and that's something that we want to avoid. And I know I can count on them to give me therapies that are, that are, that are really top of the line. I'm, I'm beyond happy. Definitely, I can you know, keep saying that. Um, I'm, I'm beyond happy and you know, I'll continue to use Titan therapies. And you know, I'm excited you know, when I get in my 50s, I think I'm gonna be 40, to, to keep, keep uh, you know, looking good and feeling good from the inside.
everybody for coming out today on this beautiful day. Festival of Speed. So at Titan Medical Center, we're here to make you look better, feel better, and perform better. In all ways, shapes, and forms. No matter what age you are, male or female, we can help you. And we do a number of different things. Home replacement therapy for males and females, vitamin injectable therapy, rejuvenation detox, libido enhancers, rejuvenation, blood testing, and a lot, lot more. So if you think you're lacking some of these areas, you're tired, you just don't feel the same, you want to be better, then contact us. You can call or text us at 727-389-3220. Or also check out our website, www.titanmedicalcenter.com. Make sure you guys come over here, sign up at the booth, Get some free Titan here and come take a picture with the rise. I appreciate everybody coming out. Thank you very much. All right. And thank you. Now, I also do want to say that I've been reading up a little bit, and it looks like HRT has come a long way in the past few years. Big time. Big, Big time. time. Okay. Festivals of Speed, brought out the Titan Vet and the Titan Lambo. We had a heck of a display, a whole bunch of people out there, a lot of Titan supporters, patients, and just a whole bunch of people were interested in Titan Medical Center actually heard about us, so it was awesome to get to see everybody today, enjoy this beautiful, gorgeous weather we got in Florida, be able to bring out the rides and uh, hang out with the Titan family and supporters all day. So big ups. Keep a lookout for all our other events that are coming up for Titan Medical Center. Come out, get yourself some free Titan gear, take some picture with us, and have a great time. I'm John from Titan, and uh, we're out of here. Hey guys, Johnny from Titan, and today I want to talk about one of the questions that I get over and over and over. The question is, is it safe for me to do medical testosterone therapy? And the answer could be yes or it could be no, right? It really depends on you. Let me break that down and really explain it so you guys really understand what I'm talking about, because that's kind of confusing. Yes or no, John? So, yes, it is safe for you to do medical testosterone therapy. Now, when we talk about some of these things, we really want to look at your health history because that's going to be a determining factor in is it safe for me to do medical testosterone therapy, right? So if you're very healthy, you've never had no problems, no health history as far as cancers or cardiovascular or anything like that, then it's probably going to be ultimately safe for you to do testosterone replacement therapy, okay? Now, testosterone through the years has got a bad rap. It really had a black eye and was the redheaded stepchild per se. Um, you know, before when we were you know, first getting into this business a long time ago, about 10 years ago, all the doctors that we talked to at that, that point in time were saying testosterone is going to give you a heart attack, blood clots, strokes, DVTs, you're gonna get prostate cancer, all these negative things go along with testosterone replacement therapy. Now, this was 10 plus years ago. 
Fast forward to today. We know we have a lot of different studies that, that talk about testosterone replacement therapy being beneficial in a number of different ways for males and females. Now males and females both need a healthy range of testosterone. The ranges are just a little bit different. Males need a little bit more and females don't need as much, okay? But when we talk about this, as long as we're getting a medical dose and we're getting monitored correctly, what does that mean? So that means that you're not getting overdose on the, the milligrams of you're supposed to be taking of testosterone, right? We wanna be in a healthy range. Now, each lab has different reference ranges, so it's not just one range that I can tell you today. It would be you know, determined by the reference range on the lab of where you got this blood taken from. The other thing I wanna talk about here is when we talk about testosterone replacement therapy on there, then we talk about where we're getting it from. So if you're getting it prescribed from a US licensed pharmacy, then at that point, we really know what you're getting, okay? And, and some people, they don't wanna get this and they're self-prescribing or they're doing these other things. And we really don't know where that testosterone is coming from, where it's made, concentration levels, is the dose correctly, is it underdosed, overdosed? So when we take testosterone, right, it's going to be healthy for our body. But there's some different things that testosterone does do or can do. And this can be raising your hemoglobin, hematocrit, and red blood cell count. Now this can happen to just about anybody out there. It really depends on the person. There's no uh, cookie cutter plan for this person it's gonna raise on and this person it's not. But if you're getting medically monitored, they should be blood testing you and they should be running a CBC. It's a complete blood cell count. And this complete blood cell count is going to check your hemoglobin, hematocrit, red blood cell count, white blood cell count, and so on. This will determine if you need to donate blood or give blood, right? If this is not monitored correctly, and hemoglobin, hematocrit, and red blood cell count goes too high for a long period of time. This could cause negative health issues for you. DVTs, blood clots, strokes, okay? That's where testosterone really got the negative black eye portion of this, right? Because doctors or people that were taking this were not monitoring correctly, and people were running really high levels in hemoglobin, hematocrit, and red blood cell counts. And in turn, this was causing them to have these negative health issues. We know that if we monitor things correctly, if we know the doses is proper, then we can definitely prescribe testosterone to people in a healthy, enlightening way and will benefit them in the quality of life day to day, okay? Because we know if our testosterone levels are low as males or females, it's gonna affect us in the exact same way. You're gonna have low energy level possibly, right? Libido can be in the toilet. Your brain might not function like it should. So brain fog, when you're thinking of that word, it's on the tip of your tongue, you just can't get it. That could be brain fog. And that could be attributed to the receptors of the brain from testosterone, okay? And we can also talk about fat deposits, sugar levels, cardiovascular issues, and a bunch more. So we wanna make sure that everything in our body is properly balanced and monitored, including testosterone. And we know nowadays that people are being very deficient in testosterone, males and females. And before it started at the age of 30 or 40, they said, there's different studies on both, that you're losing a percentage of testosterone every year. But we blood test a lot of different people here, and obviously around the country, there's a lot of people that are more informed or educated about their hormones, and specifically testosterone. So testosterone is not a bad thing. I always hear about it all the time. It's an anabolic steroid. Yes, it is an anabolic steroid. But I always ask the person, did you know that anabolic steroid was originally produced in your body and probably still is produced? If not a lot, a little bit, right? So we always gotta think of this. Don't always you know, believe the hype. Really educate yourself. Talk to a medical provider that knows these things, is educated on these things, and they can treat you properly. If you're looking for more information about testosterone, medical testosterone treatments, and how it can benefit you, then you can call us here or text us at Titan Medical Center. The number is 727-389-3220. We can run a simple blood test or send you in for blood anywhere in the country. We can send you into a lab that's local to you and we can see where your testosterone levels are really at. And if they need help, that's when you can really take that step and educate decision to help yourself for a better quality of life. If you don't need testosterone, your testosterone's optimal already, don't mess with it. You don't need to. If you introduce this to your body and you don't need it, 
your natural function could be shut down, okay? And may never come back to really where it was at. This is a big, big, important thing to really look at. So one, educate yourself about testosterone. Know where your levels are at, get the blood test. Two, find a medical provider that is educated in hormones and has been doing this, has a track record that can definitely take care of all your needs, not just prescribing it to you, but correctly monitoring you as well and making sure all the other hormones that go right along with testosterone are balanced as well. So guys, this is just some of the tips and tricks that I wanna share with you guys so you guys have a healthier, happier life and you guys are living to the best possible optimal levels you can. Guys, check out our website, titanmedicalcenter.com. If you guys wanna become a patient and know more about it again, like I said, call or text us, 727-389-3220. Thanks guys. John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Awesome, good information that you guys can utilize. Honestly, whatever doesn't break you will make you stronger. That is the truth. Every week, if you don't know, we come up with these tips and tricks to help you guys enhance your relationships. And I hope they all see this episode. Whether it's reigniting that passion or just developing a better, stronger relationship. We went through a lot of these trials and tribulations, so we wanted to give you guys the shortcuts What's up guys, John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. So if you guys don't know what Cupid's Corner is, this is our segment, our part of the show that me and Sharice like to go over tips and tricks to help you guys levitate and bring your relationship to a whole new level. Or just reignite that fire that may be, you know, diminishing out a little bit or possibly gone. So. Relationships go through different stages, different levels, you know, all these different things. And you get into a relationship, you're gonna have to deal with maybe some of these problems and some of these issues. So me and Sharice have used our great experience and the many experiences from our friends and family to give it to you guys as knowledge so you guys can utilize it to benefit your relationship, okay? <laughs> so uh, this one is pretty good. Now we're in, you know, November. We're coming up on December, so what does that mean? Holiday. Holidays, right? And what does that mean? <laughs> Family time. Family time. So whether you're just getting into a new relationship, right, or you're married uh, or engaged or whatever it is, uh, domestic partners, whatever it may be, you are going to probably have to deal with the in-laws mm, or nice. the other person's family or even your family too, right? <laughs> yeah, true. You too, right? Yes. You might have to deal with your own family. You're going to have to deal with their family, you know? And not all family is fun. That's right. what we're going to call this segment. So uh, not all <laughs> family is fun. And, and what we mean about this is, you know, you might not be a fan of the family. Mm -hmm. and, and how that works is, is, you know, when you first meet the family, you might not like them for certain reasons, whether it be a shallow reason like their home, the way it's decorated or something you see you just don't like, or their political views or whatever it may be, it could be something very serious. It could even be like, you know, something like their personality or the way that they come off. You know how some family members, they come off a little abrasive I don't know if it's just maybe a protective kind of thing. For Watch their... out, Peter. Early warnings. <laughs> for a protective thing for their that's children. That's by the way. Yep, that's our baby. Uh, my baby forever. Um, but, you know, they might be a little overprotective, and when they do come off, they come off a little abrasive, and it might kind of rub you the wrong way. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, I, it, it's true. So, <laughs> you know, or they could just be, they could be irritating. Okay, it just is what it is. Not that my, my in-laws are irritating or anything like that, but I know people that have irritating in-laws and I feel for them like, man, you know, I, I, I don't know, man, if I could be doing with this, like, you know, I just go over there and I have some drinks and just stay to myself. And at that point, you know, the night is done. I haven't fought with anybody and I'm out the door and back home in my own bed and my own kingdom. <laughs> I don't have to deal with them anymore to hear them. 
but you are possibly going to have to deal with in-laws during the holidays, you know, mm -hmm. even with COVID around, you're going to either have to deal with them possibly, you know, in your house or you go over their house. It just depends how your families do it mm -hmm. or even virtually. Yeah. You know, just having the you face just there. just say that, you know, you lost power or something and just beep. And then it's over. You possibly could. <laughs> I don't it's, foresee that happening. But. That'd be a little bit easier to do, I guess. <laughs> easier than going over there and be like, oh, man, we got to go. You guys have been here 30 minutes. I know. We just, you know, we really got to go. We have this next thing we got to do. Yeah. Me and John have done that on quite a few different occasions <laughs> just because we had to at least show face. You right. know, it's one of those things where right. you kind of got to show face. And if you don't show face, it's disrespectful, especially oh, like, you know, the old timers and time. people that are old school or even, you know, the Greeks or the Indians. You know, they are very family oriented. Mm -hmm. So if you don't show up and at least eat one plate of food, <laughs> it's insulting. It's it can like, be disrespectful it, in their eyes. Be, in their eyes even, you know, and, and then it turns into you didn't stay long enough and then it's just one thing after the other. At least you showed up, you yep. showed face, you had conversation, you showed the respect level. I think that's what it's really about. Not mm -hmm. about the time. Mm -hmm. Obviously more time might be better in their eyes or you, there's never enough time in the world, okay, and for anybody. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> but, but but doing the, the right thing and, and supporting your loved one. You know, that might be, you know, like their dad might be there, everything to them if your wife feels like that or mom or whatever it is. So at that point, at least showing the respect of going over there and supporting them. Even if you don't like the family, you're going to have to deal with them. You can't cop out of every situation. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I know that, you know, like my brother is a good example. I'm going to bring him up, might as well. <laughs> so he's married to an awesome woman now, Courtney, great kids, the whole oh, night. Boy, Before the he was married to this, this chick named Sandra, right? And Sandra did not like my family. It just is what it is. She liked me, <laughs> but she couldn't stand my dad. And she didn't like my mom because my mom, you know, know she's going to be a like protective her. mom. Right? Everybody likes Everybody John's likes my mom. mom. But my mom will tell you like it is. And if she don't like something that's going on, she's definitely going to let you know <laughs> one way or the other. And back. some people don't like that. You know, some people can respect that, but some people don't like that. So she never wanted to come around. Uh, when, the, when they came down, you know, here, when we lived down here on vacation, she would stay at the hotel or she'd bring a friend along to like do these like family. It was just kind of weird, you know? And, weird. and she, I understand she just didn't want to be a part of the family. She didn't want to be around the family. She could care less. But her side, obviously, she wanted to spend all the time with and wanted Clint always there and supporting. So it's just an example that I'm saying out there. Don't be like that. Reciprocate. Even mm -hmm. if you don't like the family, low key, your wife knows, your, your husband knows that you don't like the family. You're doing it for them. And that's yeah. the real reason, because you love them. Right. That's the whole reason that other part of the family is there, because you chose to love that significant other person. So if you really don't want to deal with either one, you know, that's <laughs> on you. But if, if you do love your significant other, you're going to have to deal with the family or in-laws or anything that comes with it, with it baggage-wise. And that could be kids and ex-husbands or whatever it may be, too, mm -hmm. which I'm glad I never had to go down that route. Uh -huh. I never want to go down that route. Nope. But a lot of people do because of what ha what's going on out there right now. So a lot of relationships don't last. The blended you family. Know, the blended families. And there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing. And I give a lot of respect uh, for people that raise other people's children that aren't their own. But they take them in as their own and they do that. Mm -hmm. So that's another big one with me. But, you know, you gotta you got to support your partner. And at that point, you're going to have to suck it up, eat some food. If you have to, have a couple drinks. Put a smile on your face. Have small face, talk. And then at that point, just get through the night, <laughs> get through the day, and then go home and re relax. And then you can complain about it later to your wife or husband on the way home. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Isn't that the truth? But don't be mean about it, okay? Uh, don't make them feel bad about it. That's another thing. Oh, you're making me go over to your, your mom's house or your dad's house. And they just feel bad about it, too. too. And this is the person that's their parent. That's the person that maybe raised them and they love and they care about too as much as you. So don't make them feel awkward or, you know, uh, or bad about it. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that's a big thing. That's huge. That's huge. Really it's, if you love your significant other, you're going to have to suck it up. You know, there's going to be times and things that you don't like that you just have to do. Yeah. This happens to be one of them. Yeah. You know, so for Thanksgiving or for Christmas, if you guys have to do these get togethers, and everybody's usually what you try to do at some point is try to get all the families together, you know. So if you're married, it's nice, nice if you can, you know, is to get your his family and my family is what we tried to do, you know, a couple of times yeah. and get everybody together under one roof. So that way you're not just having to hop houses, you know, and go from one house to the next house, to the next house, to the next house, you know, especially 
I and mean, we still have houses. In our scenario, it was it was really messed up because when my dad was around, so my parents didn't get divorced until I was 21. Both of our parents divorced at 21. And he was another 21. another thing that we have just in random. common. Yeah, just common, you know? Yeah. And so he was 21 when his, when his parents got divorced. So when these... <laughs> these special holidays came oh up. Oh my God. We had to go and visit with Peter, right? So we have Peter. Yeah. We had to go and visit John's mom. Yep. Spend an hour and a half, two hours there. Yep. Drive, you know, back to see my mom, you yep. know, and that was over in Wesley Chapel. We're talking about an hour drive from John's mom's house, yep. right? So go see my mom, my grandma, you know, my uncles and everything over there. And then we had to go see my dad. And then, you know, from my dad, we had to go back to his dad. And then we had to split it all up. So it was just, it was a lot of traveling in one day. A lot of traveling, <laughs> you know, a lot of miles, a lot of eating. Um, but, you know, again, and then you try to get them together, and we would try to do that too. And then, you know, it's basically four different parties at that point. Uh, plus us, which would be five different parties. <laughs> uh, but at that point, what would happen is they would start bickering sometimes back and forth. And I think everybody's been through those family bickering or fights. I don't know. Yeah. I, everybody I've I talked to has usually went through one experience like mm -hmm. that. And, and trust me, my, my bringing was no different. Mm -hmm. They had both sides of the family. I mean, well, my dad's side of the family was in Greece, so really not that side. But my mom's side of the family, but all her brothers, sisters, and everybody, you know, just eventually would turn into an argument and fight of some kind. <laughs> Um, but always a good time. It's always a good time. Hey, listen, you always come back with great memories from these family gatherings, even with the in-laws. There might be something funny they do that you guys can make an inside joke about and kind of laugh about. So just take it for what it is. Do the right thing. Support your partner. Not everybody's a fan of the family, but yeah. you can't choose your family sometimes, too, because you choose your loved one, and that can't. comes a part of the package. you got to do it. If you love them, you'll do it. You'll suck it up, and you'll do it. And you know what? You'll even tell them. You yeah. know what? I'm doing this because I love you. So hopefully <laughs> this tip and trick, not a fan of the family, helps you guys out <laughs> in dealing with your issues possibly with your family or the in-law's family or significant other's family, the girlfriend, you know, the, the fiance, whatever it is at that point in time, you can deal with it. And if you ain't married, you ain't really attached to it. So you might so at that point, to... you might be changing your mind. Hopefully, <laughs> you hope it's not that bad. <laughs> but, but hey, you never know, right? Um, so guys, keep it locked, keep it tuned. Every Sunday, Cupid's Corner, me and Sharice are gonna be here, right? If you guys don't have cable in Florida, so you guys can't watch us on ABC at 11 a.m., you guys can always check it out on our Type Medical Center Facebook page and our YouTube page in full, unedited. And no commercials for you guys, all right? <laughs> so we'll see you guys next Sunday, Cupid's Corner, 11 a.m. I'll see you then.